So we got a sweet beta haul video for you guys today. I know that, again this is the VHS Inspector channel, but you know, magnetic tape is magnetic tape no matter the size. So I've gone a little crazy. I've been visiting a lot of uh, vintage stocks, and which a couple have VHS, not a lot. I've been hitting up a lot of half price books, and I've just been buying up anything interesting. I've been finding a lot of cool stuff that I kind of never, never really crossed my path before. So we'll start this way. Go here. These are obviously this is. Captain Marvel, the greatest serial of all time, 12 episodes. This is on beta, as we can see. So, I've never owned a beta player, but I've owned a lot of beta tapes. Usually Halloween ones more than anything else. I own Creepers, some of the Friday 13th. You know what? Don't be surprised if those, if these disappear over time, because they make doing this job kind of difficult. See, from what I've always understood, beta is actually better quality than VHS. It's never anything. We never owned them. I was actually looking up beta players on eBay the other day, and a lot of the working ones that are in good condition sell for quite a bit of money. So there's Captain Marvel. Uh, a lot of these I'm not going to really go too in deep in depth into because I don't know a lot about them. I've never seen them before. I just kind of want to burn through them real quick. I just thought these were interesting. We've got a Warner Brothers home video, one of the big Warner Brothers clamshell packages, but it's obviously listed as beta. I flop this baby open. Information on the inside. You got the beta tape there. So that's kind of smart on Warner's behalf. You just make one size of tape uh, holder. And then that looks better, but it doesn't work. Just one size of, of case, and you put your betas and your VHS in as opposed to having two different types. So there's Firefox. So I doubt, yeah, I probably won't do individual videos for any of these. Remind me to put that back in there. Um, I just kind of like them the way they are. Uh, let's go here. I've been kind of, I'll say this on other videos, but I've, I've become a huge fan of these MGM coffin boxes. Like, I think these are dope. I've never, this is the first one I've ever seen that was, VA, or that was beta. So I had to pick it up. Westworld, and it just cost me five bucks. I just think these MGM cases are so cool. As you've seen already on the channel, we had Poltergeist, Poltergeist 2, and I picked up a couple more that you'll be seeing. Pretty cool. And these are really interesting to me. This is a run of Doctor Who episodes that are on beta, but they're in VHS-sized uh, cases, kind of like this, but obviously the cardboard slip cases. They slip it out. It's the beta, Doctor Who, the Deadly Assassin. Maybe you guys have seen these before, but I haven't. And they just have these little, these little inserts that keep it in the beta size, so it's not slipping around in the package. I thought those were cool. Again, these are another set I picked up from uh, Half Price Video, or Half Price Books. The Seeds of Death. Pyramids of Mars. The Brain of Morbius. And Death to the Daleks. Again, these are all be uh, beta tapes, as you can see down here, inside of VHS size cardboard cases. A lot of these I'm not sure if I'm going to keep in the archive, or if I'll just if I'll relist them as a set, I have these as a set and these individually somehow on eBay and get rid of them. These I thought were really cool. These are a run of He-Man beta tapes that are, I think, three or four episodes on each tape. This one is He-Man She-Ra, The Secret of the Sword. And to my... My guess is this magic window. My guess is these are for schools or libraries, something to that effect back in the 80s. Maybe you bought them off the shelf at the store like this, but my guess is that these are going to be made primarily for, for schools to utilize. Uh, he Man and the Masters of the Universe, Volume 2. Yeah. So there's two episodes on there, looks like. Volume 3. Episodes, Creatures from the Tar Swamp, The She-Demon of Phantos. This one had Like Father, Like Daughter, and The Time Corridor. I think this one is, yeah, it's like a full-length movie or something. So I really wish I could watch these, but I'm not going to spend $200 on a beta player. And then we got the Volume 4, Diamond Ray of Disappearance, Tila's Quest, and Colossor Awakes. Yeah, I thought these were just kind of a cool find. 
Uh, anybody out there, if you guys know anything about Magic Window, anything about these beta tapes, feel free to comment below, let me know. I would love if I could find volume one, or how many volumes there are together. So either I'll try and collect them all, and find more of them. I did do a search on eBay, I couldn't find anything. Um, either I'll try and collect them, add, keep them in the archive, or I'll just go ahead and list all these on eBay to get rid of them. Um, anyway, that's a beta haul. This is maybe two different trips, but these are all the betas that I collected in the past, I think, two weeks or so. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I thought this was kind of neat. Captain Marvel, since they made a movie of this, what, a couple years ago, a year or two. All right, guys. That's it.